Today I'm making French toast roll-ups with ham. To start, I'm using 12 slices of white bread and I'm going to remove the crust from each one. And once I'm done removing the crust pieces, I'm going to reserve those for a second recipe. You could also just save these for breadcrumbs or later use. Now I'm just going to roll and flatten each slice of bread. This is going to make it a lot easier to roll up. For the cream cheese spread, I'm going to use one tablespoon of sugar mixed with about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Give it a mix. Now I'm going to add it to half of a block of softened cream cheese. That is around four ounces of cream cheese. And just give that a really good mix. To a bowl, I'm going to add two large eggs I'm also going to be adding three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to be using the leftover bread pieces for a second recipe, but if you're just strictly doing the roll-ups, then a half cup of heavy cream or whole milk works for this. I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, another eighth teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a pinch of freshly grated nutmeg. And now just combine well. Now I'm ready to roll these up. So here I have 12 slices of thinly sliced deli ham. I'm going to spread a thin layer of the cream cheese mixture onto each slice of bread. And now I'm going to add one slice of ham and you'll want to roll it up. And once you finish the roll, you'll want to make sure the bread is touching the cream cheese to keep it sealed. Repeat the process and when they are all rolled up, you're ready to dredge these and cook these. So on a griddle, I've added some cooking oil on a very low heat. I'm preheating it. I'm going to add one or two tablespoons of butter. And now I'm just going to dunk and dredge each roll up into the heavy cream egg mixture and add it to my griddle. I'm going to cook these over a very low heat for the course of five to seven minutes until they are golden brown and cooked through. Once they are done, you can garnish how you like. You can sprinkle some powdered sugar, extra ground cinnamon, and drizzle with maple syrup. It's so good. Now for the leftovers, I'm going to use the leftover egg mixture and add two to three tablespoons of sugar. I'm also going to be adding some extra vanilla extract, and I'm going to give that a good mix. To a buttered pie dish, I'm going to add all of my breadcrumb pieces I've chopped into little cubes. Add that egg mixture, coat and mix well. I'm going to add a six ounce container of fresh raspberries all over, just kind of on the top. And you'll want to sort of make sure everything is submerged and pressed into your baking dish. I'm going to cover with foil and bake this covered for 20 minutes in a preheated oven at 350 degrees, uncover, and let it continue to bake for another 10 to 15. And that's it. This is an easy recipe for baked French toast. And it's so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.